The bank features a savings account that has an annual percentage yield of 5.9% with interest compounded monthly. Cody deposits $5,500 into the account. We first want to determine how much money will Cody have in the account in one year, and then what is the annual percentage yield, or APY, for the savings account. For a quick review, the annual percentage yield, or APY, is also referred to as the effective annual yield, effective annual rate, or annual equivalent rate. All of these are the simple interest rate that would produce the same return at the end of one year as an account that paid compounded interest. And this can be helpful when comparing different investment accounts that pay different compounded interest. We can determine the APY using either of these two formulas, where this first formula requires the balance after one year and the second formula doesn't. In this video, we will take a look at both formulas. But for the first step, we need to determine the balance in the account after one year that pays 5.9% interest compounded monthly, and therefore we use the compounded interest formula shown here below to determine the balance after one year. So the balance after one year A is equal to P sub zero, the starting amount of $5,500, times the quantity one plus R divided by N, where R is the annual interest rate as a decimal, and N is the number of compounds per year. 5.9% as a decimal is 0 0.059, and the number of compounds per year is 12, because the interest is compounded monthly, and there are 12 months a year. And this is raised to the power of n times t, where again n is 12, and t the time in years is one. And now we go to the calculator and round this to the nearest cent, or nearest penny. We enter 5,500 times the quantity one plus 0 0.059 divided by 12. And this is raised to the power of 12 times one, or 12, we press the exponent key, 12, and then enter. To the nearest cent, we have $5,833.42. And now we'll determine the APY using both formulas. For this first formula, we have the beginning balance after one year minus the starting balance, all divided by the starting balance. So notice how this first formula does require the balance after one year, which we already have. So the APY is equal to the balance after one year, which is $5,833.42, minus the starting balance of $5,500, and this difference is divided by the starting balance of $5,500. Because we're told to round the percentage to the hundredths place value, or two decimal places, and this will give us the decimal form of the percentage We'll have to round the decimal to four decimal places. So we have in parentheses 5,833.42 minus 5,500. And this difference is divided by 5,500 to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.0606, which as a percentage is 6.06%. So because the APY is 6.06%, an account that pays 6.06% simple interest after one year would have the same return as the given account that pays 5.9% interest compounded monthly. But let's also determine the APY using the second formula where the APY is equal to the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of N minus one. Notice how for this formula, we don't have to use the ending balance after one year. We would have the quantity one plus R divided by N is 0 0.059 divided by 12. Again, N is 12 because we have interest compounded monthly. This is raised to the power of N, which is 12, and then minus one. Going back to the calculator, we have in parentheses one plus 0 0.059 divided by 12 this is raised to the power of 12. And now we need to press the right arrow to get out from the exponent position, and then minus one, and enter. Notice how there's a slight difference between these two values, because remember, the 5,833.42 is rounded to the hundredths place value, or to the nearest cent. 
but to four decimal places, we still have approximately 0 0.0606, giving us the same percentage of 6.06 .06 for the APY. I hope you found this helpful.